Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing a fresh start Alpha 8 experimental, the last build of the experimental before it goes to release candidate. There's been a bunch of changes to the game start and gameplay. Um, I think we need to do a full restart from fresh to experience it all the way that they intend it um, before it goes into release candidate we'll check it out and we'll we'll play test this so let's let's jump right in let's just jump right in new game uh, random default we're gonna do um, I don't want to do the same seed I, I, let's just let's randomize this Sure. Wow. Zero to 40. So they've also... Um, one kilogram. That sounds good to me. That That's going to be fine. Apparently, they've increased the overall temperature on starting planets to not be freezing all the time. Uh, difficulty settings. Let's... Uh, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to cripple myself for the experimental. We're just going to leave all this stuff on normal, except for the enemies we'll put on hard, of course, and all that on hard. But I also want to make this a little bit faster. So we're going to do the construction craft speed fast and blueprint production speed fast. So these are all kind of normal settings, what we're going to experience um, for the environment and and mining and stuff like that it's going to be a little bit faster for construction and we're going to actually set this stuff to true we got to spawn on a pad uh, and block limit so there we go um we also are going to set the auto miner depletion to true so so sort of semi hard semi medium settings the hard will be the enemies and normal for pretty much everything else fast construction okay let's let's we're gonna go with that those custom settings so this is gonna be alpha eight um come on eight uh what do i want to call it we're gonna call this you know what we'll call this uh build we'll just do a build 1647 you know what that's let's do the seed 1647 Woo, got quite a bit warmer with eh, I'm not sure if I like that I'm gonna be cooking all the time I'm gonna cook to death although running in the water you can get rid of the cooking uh, a lap a lap Ugh, I'm not really sure if I like those. The atmospheric density kind of sucks. Eh, let's not do the seed. I, I, I don't really like it. <laughs> let's see what this one is. Uh, wow, even hotter. I, I, one kilogram per meter, 43. Forty-one. Forty-three in atmospheric density. So what I'm looking for is there one and forty-two. Okay, that's better. the The atmospheric density I've found to be quite a disadvantage if you go over one kilogram per meter. Your your own. Um, it's just a disadvantage to you, not the enemy. It seems so. Soul pus. Soul pus. That sounds appropriate. Let's do this. <laughs> Soul pus it is. Okay, so... We're not even going to bother with the Robson Protocol this time. Uh, I mean, we just, we just ran through all that last time. What we'll do... We'll do the Robson Protocol on another series completely. Probably once it goes into 
um, once it goes into full um, release or stable branch. Okay, so there's something over here. Well, it looks decent size. So let's just kind of. Uh, I can't see much. Okay, so let's just circle back to where we were. <laughs> and where is it? I don't know now. We'll just crash down. Get some of these rocks and berries and stuff. Okay. 22 degrees out. That's perfect temperature. So, okay, start it up. And we're going to do the... Skip that. And we're just going to get all of our stuff. Robson Protocol is not going to give us the starting experience any different than if we didn't do it. So, uh, what do we got here? So, the new thing, Fog of War. Very cool. Um, I love it, actually. It shows where you haven't been, basically. If there's, I, I, I absolutely love this. I think this is a fantastic feature that they're added in. Um, just, I love it. I love it. So where are we going to go? We are going to go... I don't know. Let's try... Let's check out up here. By the water. And we're going to start heading that way. But we're going to collect... Okay, the, I'm going to put us in third-person view. I'm also going to get into my suit constructor, my survival constructor, actually, it's called. I'm going to make the survival tool. And let's situate our stuff better here. I'm going to put the gun here, that there. And we're actually going to bump this down the line a bit here. Start with 10 biofuel, that's pretty epic. Ore scanner, survival tent, some antibiotic ointment, some food, a bandage, we'll stick that there. Flashlight for when it gets dark, and biofuel. Okay, so not bad. What we're going to do first is we're going to smash some of these rocks to, to start building up our material reserves so what we want to do is we want to go into rock drill and you can see I had 60 hit points and we're just gonna pick this stuff up okay and there I saw another one over here so I want to head over to the new marker we're gonna pick we're gonna smash everything and pick everything we're not gonna attack any creatures so we have no armor on all we got is a survival tool for def defense there's no way we can take on anything it's just that would be stupid. And remember, all the critters are hard. Because that's the settings I had, was all the critters, all the creatures are going to be hard. So, yeah, th they're going to be bullet sponges, and I got no bullets. So, well, I do. I got my gun. I guess I could, but I just, no. No, no. So ideally what we want to do is we want to find the wreckage and oh what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker on my escape pod that way I know how far away I am from it I it makes it easier to track my distance if I get beyond two kilometers and I have not found um the wreckage then I'll start circling I don't want to go past two kilometers out from the survival or from the uh, the pod the drop pod yeah the escape pod is usually around two kilometers give or take a couple hundred meters from the wreckage so if you circle around the escape pod at two two kilometers you will eventually find the wreckage. 
No, unless they changed it. Unless they changed it in this build. Also, when you look at the biome, you can see this area looks like the starter biome. Or, well, not starter biome, but it looks like the starting area. I think, you know, the immediate area is probably the starting biome. Is that what it says right here? Starter biome, yeah. Oh, did I see something other stuff here? Over here. So, again, it's a real rush for time. We... We have to find enough material to get up a, a vehicle or something. The AI, um, and apparently there might be some free roaming Xerax that we might find. So, super scary. You don't want to be caught out in the open with no armor and just a pistol when you're dealing with Xerax. Because they will kill you. That's, there's just no doubt about it. Okay. So, I'm just going to continue on. Stamina management is a thing at the beginning, for sure, because your survival tool uses stamina. I could switch to my drill. I could switch to my drill, but that will use up bile fuel and right now stamina is a free resource sort of you can see the critters are they gonna freak out and run away they should yep there they go does its little dance yeah 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 okay but they don't attack so that's good so let's get into the forest area. This is usually where there's more food. So now these things, you can actually get plant protein from these flowers, which is fantastic, because there's sometimes where they're all over the place and there's nothing else. And it's like, okay, but now you can actually eat them. So let's smash this rock. So it says it has 224 hit points. And you can see it eating up our stamina as we drill this. But it's doable. And we got a decent amount of stone. That would have been 19 crushed stone in total. We can also, with the survival tool, go into defense mode and chop down trees. Now it also eats up your stamina doing it. And there we go. We got five logs out of that automatically in our in our backpack. Okay, so let's keep going. Actually, we should get some more logs. Let's get this other big tree here. So five logs. Each log can be turned into 20 fiber. It takes 10 fiber to make biofuel. So basically each log is two biofuel. If, if that's the main thing you're using your your logs for is is fiber and for biofuel then just double the amount of logs you got and that'll give you how much biofuel you can make okay so we want to we want to get enough resources right off the bat Now, also, I am heading west on purpose so that to, to delay the time. Level two, good. We'll just keep going and picking stuff. Don't see any berries on these trees. Okay. We don't need to bother the crickets. Okay, that's a big rock. That's a big, big rock. So how many hit points does this rock say it has? Oh, 1,300. Let's pull out the drill for this. So 
the drill does much more damage, I guess, so to speak. Without eating up stamina, so... Hey, come back, come back, come back! Wow, big crush stone. Big, big, big crush stone. So we're already up to 89 crush stone on just a couple of rocks. That's huge. Uh, we need to pick all this stuff. All of it. This is eggs by the look of it. Uh, yep, I got an egg from that. So this will be... This would be berries. And... Do they see something else down here? No? Okay. So we want to keep heading that direction. Get down into the other forest area. So I haven't been experiencing any temperature problems yet, so... Maybe they balanced that out a little better because they did work on that quite a bit for the starting biome for this build. It's supposed to be the temperature isn't supposed to get so extreme anymore where you're just instantly freezing and dying or instantly cooking and, and dying. So let's grab all this stuff while we're down here. So there's a slime over there. I'm not going to bother him. He won't bother me. I forget what alpha, the, I think it was alpha 7 when slimes were no longer predators. I think before that they were. We'll get all this stuff. It's good. Good XP plus it's food. So the, the water swamp biome uh, I found to have a lot of food in it. It also... You can swim out and pick seaweed too if you if you really need to. Plus, you're really close to the water, so if you start overheating. Now, the only problem is I'm not seeing any of the rocks. So, that's not good. And we're already getting close to our marker. So, we might have went the wrong way. We might have went the wrong way. We'll pick this. We'll pick this green. And we'll run over here. Take a look. Okay, so Hmm, I think we went the wrong way. So, how far away are we from the Oh, we're we're not quite Okay, so let's keep let's keep going then a little bit. Let's just keep going. That way we'll get up to two kilometers. And then we'll start circling. Pick all this. Hey, come on. Really? Thank you. Wow, you gotta get right up to these things now to pick them. Uh, let's drill that. Come on. And I am not taking on that guy. I'm just gonna run past. <laughs> Not with my pistol, anyway. Okay, I'm not seeing any resource rocks anywhere. Like, really? Come on. I might have to go up into the mountainy areas to get some resource rocks if I don't find any um, deposits. Okay, so... We are now pretty much a two kilometers away, and we're not finding squat. So, crap. So we obviously went the wrong way. Let's circle back this way. Uh, 
I want to stay closer to the water. Although, I mean, it could be anywhere. They could be down here too, right? You know what? Here, let's get rid of that. We'll, we'll start circling. Gonna come around. Let's, um... Let's go this way. We'll start climbing into the hills there. We should be able to spot some rocks. Oh, here we go. Some copper. So I'm just going to start using the drill now because I just wanted to show you the survival tool. If you didn't have a drill, it is a way to get the resources. So there's some natives there. And they shouldn't attack. They never did before, so... Now they will defend themselves quite viciously and, and they used to be able to poison you with their spears. They have like poison spears. We just want to pick everything. We need way more resources so we're just not finding any. Uh, what else? I did raise a level. We do have enough to make that too. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my tools. And oh, is that not where? I got to be level three to get all that stuff. Okay, well, let's keep going. Try and hit level three. So I'm seeing rocks up there. That's good. I think we'll get some of this cooking. We'll get our stuff cooking so it doesn't start spoiling because we got a much longer, um, much longer perish time on the cooked food. So there's rocks up there. They look like colored rocks too, so basically the rocks with color have resources of some sort or another. So these are, you can see the temperature is dropping. These are small gray ones, they're just regular stones. They're not going to get me much. Now. What I need is all that stuff, but it's all cold. It's all freezing, really. Is that silicone? Yes, it is. Okay. So the other thing you can do is you can just do this with your with your drone. That was it. Just one chunk. Okay. We gotta head over this direction anyway, so. You can turn stone into ore too, it just requires a lot of stone. <clears throat> but I might do that pretty quick just to make a motorcycle, because we haven't found the wreckage yet. And now I'm starting to get a little concerned because the time is counting down. We're almost, we're almost done the first daylight. It'll be getting into night soon and I'm heading east. So it's just, it's even going to speed up the, uh, the night coming. Okay. At this point, I think I should be able to make a motorcycle. Let's take, take a look. Cause I, I need to get this going. Yep, we can make a motorbike. Let's do this. I mean, we're going to get one. We're going to get a motorcycle from the records. It's just that I... Or do we? Now I can't remember. I think we do. But I'm running out of time. And I'm not getting squat here. I haven't found any deposits. 
So we're just gonna... How's my food going? Good. Let's eat some of those. Get some more cooking. Okay. Make sure stuff's not gonna spoil. Let's get that. We can get that. So we've got some buds. Hot beverage. What what does it cost? There's no input item? Oh there we go, input items too. Well that was weird. Okay. How are we going here? Excellent. We've got our motorcycle. Let's put this stuff back in our inventory and we'll pick up our survival constructor. Okay. So that's the escape pod. That's the new marker. Let's go for it. Oh, there's a resource rock. So we're going to grab that. resource rock, so a couple of them here. Okay. So let's make a new marker. See if this thing can climb these hills. Look at that. Motorcycle is way better than it used to be. Yep, it's. I would have never been able to do that in pre-alpha eight. Climb hills with the motorcycle. This is definitely a big improvement. get these veggies and stuff too. Oops. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I have to I won't be able to I gotta pick it up. If I didn't, if I jump back on it, I would just be flipped upside down again. So it's a bit of a bug there if you go down too steep of a hill. Head into the forest, look for some stuff while we're driving by. God, there's just like nothing in here. There's some spice here. Oops. Go up into the hills a bit here. resource rocks, so we'll just ignore those. Okay, so now, where are we? Let's keep... How 
far is the... So we're not quite far enough. Oh, that's a resource rock right there. Okay. So let's mark this again. We're going to go down here. That looks like about two kilometers. So the other two kilometers is about that much around. Okay, so let's go down here. And then we're going to go over to here. Go over to here. And over to here. Okay. So we've got enough markers now. Oh. Go away. Okay, so. Wait, which one am I going to first? The closest one. There we go. That's not a resource rock. Those are. Was that? It looked like. It looked like silicone. Yeah. It's too bad that they always turn the shoulder light off whenever you get out of a vehicle or off your bike, because that's kind of annoying. And is that a resource rock? No. Gonna do the thing again? Nope, oh good. We landed that one. Okay, so let's get this. So if we find enough rocks, we can actually do this without actually finding a deposit. It's just, deposit would be much nicer. Oh, wreckage, I found the wreckage, okay. So there we go. And level three, and iron, there we go, there we go, there we go. And copper, here we go, mother load, we did it. So, there we go. I don't need all these markers now, so let's just get rid of them. Okay, good. Let's go get our wreckage gear. That'll give us another survival constructor. Um, I forget what else. Odds and sods. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh no! Let's pick that up. <laughs> Can we get in here? There it is, personal container over there. Ah, oh, really? Ugh. No jump pack sucks. And then, come on, open the door then. <laughs> okay. Get our second motorcycle, second survival constructor, or portable constructor, sorry. I gotta get used to calling it a portable constructor. Okay, so let's just, can we fall down here? No? Uh, okay, let's just get out of here. So, what's closest? So we'll do iron, let's, let's map this out. So we're gonna do, we wanna end up over by water, right? Like a large lake area.
I guess it doesn't matter. We're just going to mine these anyway. Let's just go do it. Okay, why am I running? I've got two freaking motor... Oops, I've got two motorcycles. And we don't have a lot of time left, so I can't dilly-dally. Okay, we'll pick that up. Turn on our light. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get fairly close. I'm going to put down my constructor here and start getting some more biofuel and stuff. Although I got a lot. Um, let's, let's do that anyway. We'll get some more cooking. Put that and that in there for now. Okay, good enough for now. We've got enough space now. I'm just going to launch my drone, and I'm going to do this with my drone. Switch to ground drill. Finding these deposits are going to speed up the uh, material gathering process quite a bit. And it's a good size one, 542, so at 10 meters, we should be hitting it fairly soon. Just got to break through this little bit of a crust here, I bet, and it'll be right there. Yep, it's right there. Okay. Now, unfortunately, my video editing software is completely pooch the biscuit actually a whole bunch of stuff on my computer is like not working steam steam games and obs are the only things really working right now i plan on rebuilding my computer really quick here um and then i'll have all my editing software and stuff functional again so right now i can't really fast forward this so i'm not actually going to stop obs you guys are just going to have to put up with me mining without fast forwarding it and yeah <laughs> sorry it's just the way it is what are we at 19 that's it god this is gonna take forever uh. So I need a decent amount of this to spawn in what I want. And I guess we're going to have to find Penta or not Pentaxit, but Promethium after. I can, I can get everything working on biofuel for now, so that's okay. I'm not too stressed about the uh, Promethium at this point. There's an alternate fuel source, so we can use biofuel to run our vehicles with. It's just it's just a real pain in the ass. You've pretty much got to dedicate a constructor to just making biofuel constantly. Like, constantly. And even then, it might not be enough if you have a few vehicles and stuff. You'd probably have to get a few constructors going just making biofuel. Okay, we're slowly running out of time. The 70, not bad, not bad. I want to get more than that. Apparently they've also modified the spider spawn so that there's not like 30 spiders on every Promethium deposit. Well, it was a little ridiculous. They've also added in some other stuff. So other than the fog of war, they've added in some more stuff too that we're gonna we're gonna look at. They've um, they've added in a 
medical station for HVs and a cloning station for HVs. So the medical station only does healing and the cloning station only does cloning apparently. So it's not like a full on base CV medical station where you can clone and um, heal at it. So you have to put both on your vehicle if you want to if you want to respawn and heal at your vehicle, which is pretty cool because I mean that that is awesome if you can put a cloning station on an HV and be able to clone back at your HV. That's that's pretty good. And he, the healing, the medical station is kind of cool too. I mean, that helps a lot, especially if you don't have a lot of um, medical supplies. Okay, so 133, let's get up to 150 here. And then we'll move on to the next resource. can always come back and mine this later. I just need to get a vehicle going first. Come on. Okay, so what are we at? 150. Wow. Is that ever a... <laughs> okay. So let's grab our stuff. Okay, and then we'll head over to what's the next one here? We've got um, copper and then silicone and then iron. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, we don't need to go to the iron, but copper and silicone, obviously. They're nice and close, too. I really like that. I really like that. That's We didn't even need to get on the bike, really. It's kind of redundant. Uh, so again, we'll do the same thing. We'll throw down the portable constructor. And we're going to put our stuff in here. We've already got stuff spoiling. Okay, we've already got stuff spoiling, really? Let's um, let's check out our suit constructor, how that's going. We'll get keep getting stuff made then. Make some hot beverage okay and let's put this stuff in here we need that 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 so should we get more biofuel going yeah let's do let's concentrate on the biofuel right now get four more going okay launch our drone and we're gonna have to start picking food and stuff again uh, that could be a bit of a concern if I start running out of food. And get our drill, ground drill. So if we get enough resources right off the bat, we can get our, um, our HV box top starter instead of the cheapo cheapo cheap one that way I can actually expand on that properly and, and make a proper HV out of it the cheapo cheapo one is pretty much you got to completely dismantle it and rebuild and it doesn't break line of sight so it's not as useful for for mining There we go, we're down to the copper here, good. So again, I want a, a fairly decent sum, at least at least 100 ingots, or 100 uh, ore, so that I get 200 ingots out of it. that deep I guess it was losing contact with the drone it 
so some of the other stuff um, they've, they've done some tweaking uh, really there's a bunch of stuff that they've done so I, I can't even remember it all I'd have to I should have wrote down a bunch of notes I should have wrote down the notes but you know I suck I wanted to play I'm like yeah 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 who cares about all this stuff let me just play Okay, how are we at here? 32. Getting there. So, once again, sorry, my editing software is not functional right now, so I can't speed up this video. You just gotta suck it up and let me drill and get my stuff. Okay. Getting there. I'm liking the new textures and stuff too. They're they're a little bit more realistic. They're a little bit more realistic. Okay. Come on. Come on. Fifty-seven. Getting there, getting there. I know this is a real boring part of the game to watch, and normally I would have just, I would have just stopped here and started up recording again after after finishing the mining off. But like I say, my editing software is broken. Half the half the software on my computer is broken. Thank you. A Windows update, a security update, did that. And I do not have my Windows set to automatically install updates. I do that myself. I'm, I have a professional edition of Windows, so it allows me to do that. Home editions, I believe, do not allow you to actually dictate if, if and when you get your, your um, updates, do they? I'm not sure. I, I, I don't use home edition at all. I use Pro at home and Enterprise at work, so... You know, it's, I just, I don't use home editions ever. Sorry, it's just, I'm an IT guy. Why would I use home editions? They don't have all the features I need. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And, I, okay, a little bit more. Just a little bit more, then we'll go over to the silicone. Okay. Okay, good enough. So let's grab this stuff. Got four more cooked, good. There's nothing else in there, no. Okay, let's pick that up. And we'll head over to the silicone, which is just like right there. Is it faster just to run over? As opposed to popping the bike out? Uh, debatable. Okay. Okay, again, let's throw this down. And we'll get, uh, we'll get more biofuel cooking. Because we're going to need it. Oops. And then once we get a decent amount of silicone, a hundred, a hundred plus ore, we'll run off to one of the shores and get a uh, get a cement wall going to to block the view from critters and stuff like that. Also, actually, while we're doing this, we, do we have, yeah, we've got enough on us. Let's, let's go into our tech tree. Now that we're level three, we're going to unlock this. And we're actually going to make that. I think we're also going to unlock the detector and make that too. 
So I believe we can just make those in the... Okay, so, oops. It's not all full. Let's do that. We can make that in our survival constructor. But we need to... Hang on. Yeah, let's... Oops. We've got already cooked ingots. We can make... The detector. Okay. So, while that's cooking, well, we can grab that biofuel. Let's keep mining. Where did I go? Where did I start? I had a hole somewhere. Here we go. I try not to use up my stone to create ores with because it really requires a lot. And I kind of, I'm going to need the stone anyway to make my wall and a small pad for spawning the HV in and other stuff, so... I don't really want to utilize all my crushed stone turning into ore. And we're not going to need to because now that we found some deposits... Okay, we should start hitting at any second here. 542 with 8 meters we should be we should be starting to break through to it right about now yeah yeah okay there we go we're getting some silicone now Now, I know a lot of people just run around and smash rocks at the beginning, uh, and that's all fine and dandy if you get enough, but the only way to guarantee you get enough is doing the deposit thing. I know this is just a total boring episode, guys. Sorry, like, once again, my video editing software is pooched right now until I rebuild my computer. Which is going to happen really quick. Probably after this episode, maybe. <laughs> Actually, really good chance of doing that. Although I won't really... Nah, actually, I need my computer today still for some other stuff, so I'm not going to get around to rebuilding it today. So it probably means the next episode is also going to be un unedited. It's all about time, time management. Okay, how we doing? Getting there, 40. We need a lot more though. So the Robson protocol on hard was if you guys saw my last series, my last experimental series, I finished off by by not being able to complete the Robson protocol with the gear that I had. And I was running out of time for the episode, and I just didn't feel like dragging on the series more. Uh, killing everything in the compound. I, I mean... I wanted to experience some of the more, the new features and the new build had just come out, so... Sorry guys, if you really wanted me to finish off the Rod of Robson Protocol, I didn't. I died a couple times trying and my gear was just substandard. I needed heavy armor on hard settings to deal with those guys. It just, it was too, I was just getting annihilated way too quick. I couldn't keep up with the damage. And when I teleported into that area, 
with medium armor and and couldn't see in the dark and couldn't see where I was getting shot by. It was I was disorientated. I didn't feel like doing that again. <laughs> uh, not with the armor that I had. So yeah. And it was also with the the episode was getting pretty long in the tooth. It was already up to like 45 minutes at that point. So I I called it. Okay, so we're up to about 100, 100 plus silicone now. Or... Let's get a little bit more. Okay. I think we should be good here now. Yeah. Okay, we're getting really low on time. So let's grab all this stuff. And we need to head to water fast. We've got three minutes before stuff starts spawning. We now have a, see that? That's so cool. That's so cool. We have undiscovered stuff that direction. Because we now have that, that portable radar on us. Now, I could go over to this one. This one's fairly close. I think, I think we're going to do that. Let's do this body of water here or this one here. This one's really big. It might have a nice flat beach there. Let's head over here. Let's head over there. That is quite far, so... We're just going to jump on our bike and do this. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, I did get it made. Good. Because we're going to need this when we run into the water. So this is awesome. This mobile air conditioner. It, uh, when you have no armor on the starter planet, you can die on the starter planet. Now they, they apparently they adjusted that so that uh, the temperatures aren't quite so bad. And, and we haven't experienced freezing or extreme hot yet so I think they did a pretty good job with that now I actually want to pick some of the stuff here whoa what is that thing holy creepiness Ooh. well it doesn't seem to be interested in me so let's just pick out jump off and pick this Oh, what is that over there? That is something glowing over there. I bet you that's the alien tower or whatever, right? For the Robson Protocol? I'm sure it is. And I know I want to stop and pick things, but we're really running low on time now. I want to get to our... Oh. These little sluggy looking things, sir. I don't know what they are. Okay, so we're here. Is this viable? Is this a viable spot? Let's jump out and take a look. That looks better over there. It looks flatter. And over there, hmm. Oh, that's some interesting area there. You know what? You know what? I think we're okay here. Let's just do this. We're running out of time. We're going to pick this up. We're going to go into the water. And then we're going to put this down right here. And we're going to stay warm. There we go. We're going to put our gear down right beside it. We're going to get this in here, this in here, this in here, that, 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 um, and then this one we're going to put down, so we'll keep that, we've got that, okay, and we're going to use that and that. 
actually, we'll pop those out of there for now. So what we want to do is we want to get all this cooked. So we'll just go like that and get that all cooked. Let's put the other one down. And in this one, we want to get, oh, wait, that was derpy. No, 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 no. Let's stop this. Let's stop this because derp. We need a base starter. Let's put the stuff in then. We can use that. We need a base starter. And we need concrete. So, let's put that in there. We'll get that going. Actually, I can do concrete in the other one. We'll do concrete in the other one. Okay, so let's get that going. Get a couple of hundred of those made. Okay, so now we can put that down there. Let's see how this one's doing. And it's almost ready. So... I think we're going to bury the core in the water and down a bit in a hole. And we'll just bring cement up to uh, connect to. Okay, so which direction I want to be facing. Oops, got too far away from my heater. Be facing pretty much parallel with the shore. So let's go. Let's go over here. We're gonna dig down a bit just before the uh, do the ground drill. Wow, uh, we're starting to run into time problems. I need to get this down real quick here before stuff spawns on me. Okay, so I want to kind of go a bit of an angle. try and shove it in here try and shove it back a bit whoa whoa not forward not wow really okay, let's and then we can bury it more let's do it there okay <clears throat> now See how the cement blocks are going. It's enough for now. We're almost out of time. Oops. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. 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 That, that. Okay, so let's bring this up. Not really sure. Wow. Okay, so there. Can we... I'm going to die if I swim up to that, won't I? No, maybe not. No, maybe not. Let's try. Let's try. 
Yeah, no oxygen. There we go. The reason I'm swimming out is I can't do the connect to base unless I'm standing on the freaking thing. So, unless they change that. Oh, yep, connect to base. Nice. Okay, maybe I could have with my drone now because that wasn't working before. Okay, where's my stuff? There it is. Okay, we need to get over here beside our gear. Okay, so let's get what's made there. We need to we need to make a whoops. Why did I do that? Stop that. Drone this up. Uh hmm. We're gonna have to do some digging, I think. Yeah, that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we will pull this across. Get a little fence wall built. Doesn't appear to have anything spawning on me yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean there won't be. Just keep pulling this along. Keep pulling this along. Oops. Uh, stuff going to see me from over there. It's quite the long distance. I'd have to run around. I think I'll be okay. But that's a, a little short. So let's get up here. Oh, let's grab our blocks first. Okay, and how's this going? Oh, did I not restart that? Ah, oh, that's a derp. That's just a derp. Okay. Let's get out here. And get this up. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just making a, a, a line of sight fence, really. Okay. I don't need to go farther than that, probably. So let's start bringing this to the water. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Get that out into the water. Okay, and then it's a little low here, so we're just going to raise this up. Okay, so now we actually want a... We want it, yeah. So this is, we're going to want a, our platform... Start going here. Okay. Let's smash. Oh, I, I guess I could have done that with my drone. I don't need to. Um... Okay. I can just smash these rocks with my drone. Get them out of the way. Okay, excellent. Okay, we're actually in good shape. We uh, we got the resources we needed, and we'll be able to 
do this without getting killed right away, I think, which is amazing. Let's tab in, tab out to get my radar back. Oops, ran out of blocks. There should be more cooked. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, we've got some more there. Let's do another hundred. Okay, good. Let's eat some food. And how's my suit constructor? So we don't have a lot of food here. Okay, we'll have to live with that. Also, did we... Did we actually raise... Where is it? We need the... Where's armor? Weapons, right? Yeah, we can't. we got to be level 5 to make armor. Okay, uh, I've already got a texture tool. I'm going to need a multi-tool even though I don't have any Prometheum. Hmm. Should I even bother? You know what? Let's do a small ammo box. We're going to go into here. Do Gatling gun. And oh, there, there's the new ones here. Clone chamber. And medic station. So, Medic Station is level 7, Clone Chamber is level 5. Okay. Let's unlock that. And, oh, we don't have enough points? Crap, I shouldn't have... Oh, that's okay. That's okay, we can make guns. Guns and bullets. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. And we'll just get this pad down, and I'll call it an episode. Okay. So, that's definitely big enough to spawn in our HV, so pretty good. Let's see if we can um, shore this up a little bit here. Just want that to extend into the water a little bit more. Okay, and yeah, yeah, we can even, yeah, I'm not going to worry about line of sight to that little bit of land there. They're going to have to come around the water and then they're going to get blocked right there. So that's fine. Okay, well, we survived the first day and first night. And we're into the second day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this an episode here. I'm going to let this stuff cook up. And I'm going to get it prepped in the uh, blueprint factory. To be able to spawn in first thing next, next episode. So stay tuned. Next episode we'll have our HV ready to spawn in. And we'll go do some exploring. Until then guys. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>